Printing with Cinerate Lisa Pro In this video, you will learn how to print with Cinerate Lisa Pro. Prepare protective gloves, USB flash drive with S-code file, plastic scraper, powder trowel, ethyl alcohol and a clean cotton cloth, silicone oil. To start printing with Cinerate Lisa Pro, you should check if the emergency stop button is released. If not, turn the button clockwise until it pops up. Turn on the printer using the power switch, and then turn on the ignition key clockwise. Follow the instructions on the screen. Click Start New Print. Press Unlock Lid. The lock remains released for 10 seconds. To lift the lid, press it, and then pull it up. If the temperature inside the printer is over 50 degrees Celsius, it will not open. You can monitor the current temperature on the screen. It is time to upload your printing file. You can do this in three ways. By inserting a USB flash card, via Wi-Fi, or by choosing one of the files recently saved on the printer. After inserting the USB flash card, this screen will appear. The USB flash card icon confirms the device has been connected. Click Load from USB and select the file from the list. After selecting the desired model, you will get information about the expected print time and the material you need to use. Information about the printing time is estimated because it depends on the temperature outside the printer. In hot environments, the cooling down can take more time. Important: Be sure to use the right material as the printer adjusts its setting to each kind of it individually. Click Next. Now you will be asked if the printout from your last print was removed. If so, just press the Skip button. If your last printout is still in the printer and you would like to know how to get it out and clean the printer, follow the link to the Cleaning Cinerate Lisa Pro 3D Printer video. For this video, we just skip it. In the next step, you should remove and clean the laser protective glass. To do so, remove the split pin from the heating module. Lower the heating module to get access to the laser protective glass. Unscrew both quick release nuts and remove the laser protective glass from the locking holders. Clean the laser protective glass using a clean piece of cloth soaked with ethanol. Remember to wipe the laser protective glass with a dry piece of cloth afterwards. There should be no fingerprints or smudges on the glass. Put the laser protective glass back on its place. Assemble the laser protective glass with both nuts. Close the heating module. Put the split pin back. After the laser protective glass is reinstalled in the printer, press Done. Now you will be asked a few more questions, just to check if the printer is clean and ready to work again. If you have already cleaned the print bed and the feed bed, skip those steps. Now check if the way to the recoder is not obstructed. After clicking Done, both print bed and the feed bed will start to position themselves. In the beginning, they will go down to the bottom and then move up. In our 3D SLS system, you don't have to measure the amount of powder needed for printing. The feed bed will ultimately stop at a position that will show you how much powder is necessary. The print bed will go all the way up. It will stop just a few millimeters from the edge. It is normal. In the next step, fill the feed bed with a printing powder. A message on the screen will remind you which powder should be used. Open the box with your powder and pour it directly into the feed bed. It is crucial to pour in the powder from the low height. Remember to add a bit more powder than fits in the feed bed. Start compacting the powder by gently pressing it with a powder trowel. Don't use too much force and stop when you feel a slight resistance. Using one of the plastic scrapers, move the powder scattered in the print chamber into the feed bed Press Done. Now you are ready for the next step. Press Start Leveling button and the printer will start the process. While leveling takes place, 
Use the scraper to throw the powder remaining on the edges into the chamber. In the end, the whole printing chamber will be filled with the smooth layer of the powder. If you added too much powder, it is okay. It would be poured over to the overflow bin so you can use it later. If you decide that the surface is already leveled, end the process by clicking the Leveling Done button. You can repeat the process by clicking Repeat Leveling. Click Next. In the next step, you should clean two pyrometers window modules. To do it, use a clean piece of cotton cloth soaked with ethyl alcohol. It is best to do it in two steps, first with alcohol and then the dry version without it. Click Done. Now, using the same cloth, clean the recoder's guide bar. Press Done. After that, apply smoothly silicone oil on the whole recoder's guide bar. Don't worry if the oil drops into the powder. It will evaporate. Now the printer is ready to start printing. Close the lid slowly and click Start Printing. The printer starts to heat up. While Lisa Pro is printing, you can check the process via inbuilt camera. To do so, just click the Camera button on the printer and you will get a live view of your print. It will last for 10 seconds. During printing, you can also change the printing temperature. Just click the screen where the temperature is displayed and then make it higher or lower using arrows. For regular use, we don't recommend changing the temperature because the printer is calibrated for all our materials. Changing the temperature may affect print quality. When the printing is done, the message Printing Finished and the name of the printing file is displayed. The buttons Main Menu and Remove Printout will appear as well. Click Remove Printout. Now the temperature inside the printing chamber will be displayed on the screen. You need to wait until the temperature falls below 50 degrees Celsius to safely open the lid without damaging the print. You are ready for the next step, getting the printout and cleaning the printer. To learn how to do it, just watch our other videos.